Hi there again. I'm going to continue with the uh, the French connection, although this French will be Canadian French. Some years ago, I went over to uh, New York. We motored up to Toronto in Canada, and I thought, well, I will sort out some some lamps to add to the other lamps I already had. I had found quite a lot at one of the uh, the flea markets in, I don't quite know where it was, it was either New York or it was near there. The lovely junk market. But anyhow, let's have a look at these. I don't know the exact year, I think it was about thir 13 years ago, but I, I could be wrong. Anyhow, the first one we come across is a double pack it's called a decorator 260 watt bulbs um, that's the obviously barcode they call it dawn pink rose there's a, a code on on there Anyhow, the box inside, containing the two bulbs, which have never been used, this box here. You can see they're manufactured by the, uh, the Canadian General Electric Company. And they're made in Canada. This is before the other uh, Chinese sort of got in. As you can see... Everything in Canada's in English and French. On the other side will probably be in English. Oh, look at that. The luxury source of soft coloured light. It tells you where they're made, Toronto, Ontario. Even got the area, the uh, postal code or zip code. Let's have a look at one of the bulbs. And a decorator, 60 watt, 115 to 125 volt. It's got the SA, CS, SA standard on there. This one has any numbers that might indicate the age don't think there is it's what I call a typical American shape I know when I was over there a lot of the lamps looked a bit like the what I call the European shape they were def just a different shape perhaps they were in fact Chinese made I don't know but they certainly weren't either American or Canadian made. This is what I call the typical American shape. A bit of green on the base. Anyhow, that's it. Let's pop that one in. Have a little look. Make sure I've got it on the right voltage. I don't want to blow it out. Yeah, it's working. We'll put it to what I think is the correct voltage. 100 well, that's about 115 so it's a nice gentle pink pearl we call them pink pearl over here but um, it's uh, decorator um, pink or dawn pink these came from a shop called um, Eaton's I don't know if it's still there it's in Toronto um, don't know the street it was on. It might have been Yong Street. That name ring, rings a bell. I remember the old trams were going along there. I was quite fascinated by them. Um, but there we are. There's that lamp. Let's have a... Let's go to the next one. Now, this lamp, the next one rather, has also appeared, but not as a lamp on its own. It was in my three light unit. Not the standard one, 
but the other one with the uh, circline tube. And you see this is made by a company called Sensor Burn Base Down. This trade, this um, standard thing again, CSA. Three intensities, tri light. 50, 100, and 150 watt. Burn base down. Ah, there's the price. Now, looking today at the price, I thought that was very expensive. $3.69. Granted, they're Canadian dollars, but it still seems a lot of money at the time. Let's, let's take one, one of them out. There is only one, so... The normal... Base with with the two contacts. Once again, the American shape lamp. The writing on the top is not very good at all. It's called Globe. In fact, oh, the Globe's the same. That there's. I um, should have mentioned that Globe. That's that's the the uh, the maker or the name that it's under. Can't find any other information about that. There's a pink lamp as well. Let's pop it in and see what it does. It looks, well, it's an identical pink to the other one I would say. It's slightly larger. I think we can make it, yes it should work, it'll only work on one filament obviously. Let's screw it in. It'll only work on one filament. Let's see if it works. I'll wind it up gently. I won't push it too much. I'm pretty sure the filament's actually a standard filament, not the vertical type. Look what that looks like. I'm trying to get the name closer on the top there. It's very difficult to see what it actually says on the top. It's got globe, three intensity, light. Yeah. That's about as clear as I can get that. Anyhow, I'll pop that one back. Now the third one I got because I recognise the name Noma or Norma, Norma. They make Christmas lights over here. Well, I say they make them, they don't make them, they import them. Uh, Noma 25 watt Eaton's again and that was $179 now I, I bought this in the box I thought ah that's going to be a lovely tubular lamp the way they normally make them and um, I was disappointed when I looked at it all the standards on there I suppose that's the yes the coding in it 25T tubular 10 stroke COL for clear. Um, there we are. It was imported by Danbell Industries Inc., which is called a Norma Company, Toronto, Canada. It doesn't say where it was imported from, but I've got blooming good guess. And here's the lamp. Solder splashes right over where it says all the stuff. 120, 25 watt. And the name, not 
it's supposed to be China, but it looks like the C's a G, but it's not. It's, it's actually China. And when you look at the lamp, it's not like the normal, what I call the, the normal American tubulars, which have got a long stem going to the end, or the end, and the wire is like vertically supported the length of the tube. This is just a normal rough service type filament. Well, it does the job, but not what I would call well made. Let's pop that one in. We'll have a little look at that one. What are we on? Uh, drop that down a bit. There we can see the filament, filament des design. They're all right, but as I say, they are, are, in my opinion, a much cheaply made lamp. I have seen them over here uh, with a coloured envelope. I may have e even put a couple up, and they too have, have a similar filament. But I do like the normal American ones, which have got like a single straight, filament it's a uh, the support is like a fork at the end of the tube which keeps the thing in place and the filament shows as one line but I suppose it, this does the job but do prefer the other ones anyhow that's all for this time um, any comments please make um, you know as I say these are fairly old, but they're not ancient. Any comments on this, the bulb's shape as well? Because I must admit, I, this is typically the shape that, that I, I recognise an American lamp. So, um, any comments please make. And thank you again for watching. Thank you.